Hey everybody, it's Jeffrey. So being a part of the new media generation using Twitter and Facebook and YouTube and all things like that, I've always sort of found interesting and I've always wondered how old media, things as newspapers and magazines and things like that, stay current, stay in topic, stay in the scene of people buying their uh, newspapers and their content and information. So I'm downtown East Lansing right now. I'm about to visit the state news here in East Lansing to find out like what their whole operation is like what it goes into making a newspaper each day and every day printing thousands of copies of newspapers getting it to people to read so I thought it was very interesting heading to the state news and gonna check it out So I just stepped into the state news and they have a great little lobby area. It's all modern looking. The state news, there's a sign and stuff. There's a little reception desk. And I'm here with Kate Jacobson. <laughs> okay, cool, very cool. And you're gonna show us around yes. the state news, what you guys do on a day-to-day -day basis and how you kind of stay current in new media yeah, times, it's right? Yeah, lots of fun. I'm the editor-in-chief here and okay. it's a good time. Here in the back is our newsroom. Wow. Everybody is working away right now. It's probably like one of like the high times of the day where everybody's in the kind of around doing uh, their own thing and so we have it separated by desk. Well, we do a lot of new media, we do a lot of social media. So you guys have kind of seen the importance of new media and how that's like influencing culture, getting information out. What do you guys do to help get that news out there? We have um, a multimedia reporter who just does multimedia projects and our whole photo staff, they do individual multimedia projects throughout the semester and we actually, our photo staff right now is up for nine national awards. Oh wow. Very so that's cool. really cool. One of our editors just does all the social media and um, we're actually going to a conference in October to talk about how we use social media because we're one of like the leading college newspapers in our social media that's usage. Great. Newspapers sort of might be kind of quote unquote <laughs> old media but you guys are staying with the times and getting yeah, out there. Yeah, we're and trying to. We do a lot of Facebook, we do a lot of Twitter, we do a lot of LinkedIn. Good. We're always trying to make sure everybody is connected to us and that we're getting feedback from our readers in lots of different ways. Every part of the newsroom is like divided into pods or like teams more or less. So this is our deputy managing editor. He actually does all of our social media. You do all the tweeting and Facebooking and all that stuff? Facebook, the tweeting, anything social. Um, I do a little bit of Lawrence, managing editor. There's a sports desk over here, it's probably talking about something sportsy. That's very stereotypical, he's holding a football, right? <laughs> Sports desk area. We can see our multimedia lab if you want. This is our multimedia lab. There's, I mean, there's not a lot to That's it. That's a huge screen. News are really big. Yeah. Here's, yeah. Um, we use, actually, there's a video going up right now. We use Final Cut Pro to edit all of our videos, and then we um, upload them to a server. And so we upload that to the website and then post it on the web. Here's our photo and video studio. We have a lot of state-of-the-art uh, technology here. We sort of have a whole studio back in like the newsroom area, right? Is yeah, this is like right behind the newsroom. So okay. we do portraits in here, okay. bring people in here to film those. We'll do photo illustrations back here. You keep the photographers back here in this dark, scary area? Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so you might think of a newspaper just being sort of like, oh, in the news, in the local community. No, they actually do a lot of very cool stuff with uh, new media, up-to-date uh, resources and technology. Not just a newspaper that you get every day. There's tons of online resources and Twitter and Facebook and YouTube and all that stuff to check out. So you, you are seeing a like sort of a positive reaction. You're not just posting the news. You're out, you're having a conversation mm -hmm. on with people, people, right? People really, really like it, especially when we do like even a simple poll on Facebook. We did. We had like over 200 people vote That's in it. a couple of days. Yeah, it just kind of shows that people don't want to just sort of like sit there and just read a bunch of like things. They want to interact. They, they obviously they want to get their news, but they also want to sort of give their feedback and how they feel about the news in using social new media and things like that. A huge thank you to everybody at the State News for letting me come in and check out the whole operation. Sort of see what goes into creating a newspaper every day, checking out the cool operations, their state-of-the-art studio, their technology, all this stuff. I can't really even call them old media because they do so many things with Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and their own video content. It's very cool to check out. It's not just um, a boring newspaper. It's actually them knowing that people want to discuss, um, talk about topics and news that affect people people's lives. If you ever get the chance in East Lansing, Michigan, definitely check out the state news and uh, don't drudge me.